uh, Avery, with the way the offense kind of flowed game one versus game two. Do you feel better about how you guys play today or still about the same? I feel a lot better. Kind of, I mean, scratch the first half. This first half was really slow for us. And we just kind of weren't connecting the way we wanted to. But finished the first half with a good two-minute drive, put some, some good things together, and kind of just took it and ran with it in the second half. I feel like we were really explosive in the second half. We came together and really started to look like uh, what, what we needed to. What was said at halftime between you guys? I like said uh, captains really stepped up and won the game. What did you guys talk about at halftime to get things going? I feel like the biggest thing is just like we're not out of the fight. It's always going to be tough to, to win games on the road. And the biggest thing for us was just we wanted to come out here and we wanted to start fast. We didn't. Um, how are you going to respond when adversity strikes? So my biggest thing was just, you know, I took out with the offensive line, challenge those guys like, hey, win your one-on-ones up front and we're going to be just fine. And that's exactly what they do. That's, that, that's exactly what they did. We had a lot of guys step up and um, be, you know, vocal in the locker room and, and just challenge the rest of our team. And some guys stepped up and, and made big plays and ultimately we got the win today. How did you and uh, DJ know to go deep on that wheel route as opposed to throwing the ball away? Um, so it, it is a wheel route and it was just kind of, you know, my first read. And pre-snap I saw there in man, but I thought that boundary safety was going to run with DJ. And when I saw the boundary safety go across the formation and not match DJ, I mean, I saw the buck try to try to drop out there and play DJ one on one. So I kind of held on to it for a little bit. He ended up not even carrying him down the field, and I just kind of put some some air and touch on it, and you know, let him run on run under it. Where do you think you made the most growth from game one to game two? You know, just being able to battle through adversity. Uh, I feel like this is our, you know, our first my first time, especially uh, being down in a game, especially being on the road. It's it's harder to be down on the road. So we had kind of had to make our own momentum shifts, and the defense did a great job um, of getting us the, the ball back and, and you know stopping their their offense. And then it was just kind of up to us to, to get us back into the fight. We were playing from behind, and you know we had some guys step up and make some big plays tonight, and that's just what we needed. How crucial was that defense with the scoop and score and the, and the pick at the end? I mean, it, it just it goes to show. I mean, we had eight minutes or so on the clock. We think offensively we're getting two more drives. Uh, defense gets a big scoop and score. Now we're up, kind of thinking of the game a little bit different. Um, and then, you know, we're thinking, okay, we might have a two minute at the end of the game. They run the clock all the way down and they use the timeout and throw the interception. And at that point, we know we can just kneel it and, and um, head back to Manhattan. So it was a great feeling, especially being on the sideline. When you were running the ball at the outside. How many of those were designed runs versus you reading the defense and then deciding that was the best play? Um, kind of 50-50. I, I don't know how many times I ran the ball tonight, but sometimes it would be um, drop back, maybe feeling some pressure, getting up, trying to keep my eyes downfield, and then just trying to make the defense have to have to stop me as a runner as well. That was a big focus I wanted to, to make this week is make those guys stop me as a runner because I am dangerous out in space. And then some of the other ones were design quarterback runs, some quarterback sweeps and read game. Just getting me out, out, out on the edge and using my speed and, and making the defense um, have to play all 11 of us. Through the first two games, how would you assess your ability to throw the ball and then the receivers and just the passing game in general? I mean, we're so talented at receiver. Um, I, I really feel like we're going to step it up for, for weeks to come, and we haven't really been able to showcase what we can do um, throwing the ball down the field as much as we'd like. But, I mean, at the end of the day, we're 2-0 and going into week three. Couldn't ask for anything better. And we're, we just hope to get those those receivers more involved with weeks to come. But we'll, we'll find ways to get those guys the ball, get them easy touches, because we do have a really talented receiver group that we have not been able to showcase yet. Is there anything you've learned specifically about being a college quarterback over the last two weeks? I mean, I, I feel like it's really just a blessing. Um, it's a lot of fun to, to be able to go out here and, and play this sport, play the sport of football at such a high level. And, and a lot of the relationships I'm building right now, I'm going to have for the rest of my life. So a lot of people overlook, you know, kind of the, the process and the experience that comes along with um, you guys just see us come out here on, on Saturdays and, and play in a game. But we build a lot of relationships. It's a lot of fun just being around those guys each and every day, day in and day out. And um, I'm really excited to, to, to be able to, you know, call those guys my brothers. All right, Avery, thanks. Thank you. Thank you.